Hello and welcome to CNC World, broadcasting in North America and around the globe. I'm Xie Le in Washington. Today we're joined by Mr. Ron Severt Almond, partner at the Wigs Group, PLLC. Mr. Almond, welcome to our show. Thank you. Well, the trade tension between the U.S. and China is ratcheted up following U.S. President Donald Trump's instruction for officials to consider imposing tariffs on a further $100 billion worth of Chinese goods. Well, this is a huge number, Mr. Almond. Did you see this coming? Personally, I did not see this coming. I think uh, you know it was, a, it was a, an impulsive su a surprise move uh, by Mr. Trump. But perhaps we should have seen this coming because Mr. Trump tends to operate and negotiate in a, in a surprising manner. So, uh, you know, when he when he made this statement uh, yesterday uh, in West Virginia uh, of uh, putting on a hundred billion dollars more tariffs on, on on goods from China. Uh, and ratcheting it up, essentially, uh, the tension here. Um, it, it was surprising, but it's not, because I think he was reacting in, 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 in what happened uh, the day before when China quickly responded uh, to the $50 billion uh, tariffs proposed uh, by uh, Washington earlier this week and said, well, okay, we're going to do the same $50 billion, and we're going to go after two uh, key exports, uh, soybeans uh, and aircraft, uh, which are two of the the largest exports from the United States. And so I think Trump in, uh, felt the need or the urgency to respond to that uh, immediately as well. China responded very quickly this morning. A, a spokesman for the Chinese Ministry of Commerce said that China is fully prepared now and will fight back if U.S. does impose the sanction, uh, the tariffs. So uh, do you think these tit-for-tat moves will finally lead to a trade war? Uh, my hope, my personal hope, is it will not lead to that uh, that outcome. And look, is this just towards getting towards a negotiation? Uh, will we ever get to a negotiation if we continue down these these threats? Uh, in, in the near term, I, I'm sure we can we can expect costs. For example, in the, in the stock market, uh, we, yes, you know, on, when China came out with this announcements uh, regarding aircraft, for example, Boeing stock fell six percent immediately. So uh, you'll see stock market gyrations, and there's certain costs involved with that. But we also might see costs related to uh, that are hidden costs. In, the, in other words, people's faith in the economic system, global economic system. And if that gets shaken to a certain extent, uh, then you're going to see other barriers that, that could raise costs for everybody. So let's talk about um, Trump's policy for a little bit more. He is always practicing um, unilateralism, trade protectionism, and some is saying that he is anti-globalization. So uh, these policies, they, um, it has been following him uh, since his campaign trail and uh, all the way into the White House. And do you think if a trade war does break out, the U.S. will benefit from it? Well, ultimately, I don't think the United States would benefit from a trade war, just like I don't think China would benefit from a trade war or any, any other uh, uh, global uh, economy, uh, power or state that's, that's plugged into the global economy, uh, because we all have a lot to lose here. Um, but you're right. Uh, the, Trump's protectionist policies, his trade policies, date back uh, to the campaign trail, but date back to, to when he was just a businessman, where he was always... Uh, you know, arguing against uh, trade imbalances and saying back in the 1980s uh, when Japan was a threat, uh, supposed threat to U.S. prosperity, he would he attacked uh, you know, Japanese imports. So this has been a long, long thread for Mr. Trump throughout his career. And he, of course, he campaigned on this quite explicitly uh, in 2015, 2016, ultimately leading to this 2016 election, where he said, America first. And I'm going to do everything I can to protect the industrial base of the United States, the American worker. Uh, and I, I can only say that he must believe what he says because he's following through uh, with uh, this protectionist plan, this America first strategy. Whether that's ultimately beneficial to the American worker, that remains to be seen. And whether that's ultimately a good political move, that remains to be seen, too. He's, but he's certainly testing the proposition of whether this is a good idea or not. I, personally, I'm not sure that... Uh, that his strategy is well thought through, uh, that he understands exactly where he's leading the United States and, quite frankly, the global economy. And like I said before, there'll be costs for everyone if we get into a trade war.